Now, diabetes mellitus has been a big problem um, in recent times in, in Ghana and, and in Kumasi in particular. Um, people come to us every, every week to, to be tested to know their diabetic status. And in some cases, we face with a problem to decide whether they are diabetic or not. Um, in those cases where there are borderline suspicion that they are diabetics, we do what we call the oral tolerance test, or GTT. Now, the patient is made to fast overnight for at least a period of, of 10 hours. And then the patient comes to us in the morning at the hospital. Some blood sample is taken at baseline to assess the fasting blood sugar. And we prepare a standard glucose for the patient to take in. What we expect that if the patient is actually non-diabetic, the first 30 minutes, you expect the glucose low to rise. So after one hour, the glucose levels going up. Then ultimately, at the end of the two hours, it comes down to normal, indicating that the patient is not diabetic. And during that period of glucose load, there is a corresponding and concomitant release of insulin that controls the sugar level. So that at the end of the two hours, you expect that the equal rise of insulin will control the excess glucose and convert it to glycogen for storage and it comes back to the threshold, which will be between 3.6 to 6.4. So in summary, what we expect that if the patient is normal, then after the glucose load challenge, then the glucose level at the end of two hours would come between, say, 3.5 to 6 and not more. Because obviously the, the insulin working perfectly would have converted the S glucose so that the patient will have a normal glucose level.